spend it might give you the creeps. <laughs> Ew. Oh, God. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> As you're eating your breakfast this morning, you're getting ready to eat your breakfast. You may have heard of this place. In Shafter, the Bugzeum, Insect Lore's Bugzeum, but you may not understand really what it is. I'm going to leave those guys where they are for now. I kind of want to, you know, procrastinate when it comes to the hissing cockroaches. Um, they were known for putting together their their butterfly kits. It may sound a lot easier than it really is to be able to grow your own butterflies via small caterpillars in this little container. And eventually harvest them, and, and they they blossom into this little kit inside this butterfly pavilion. Now it was started in 1969 by Pat and Carlos White, yeah. and Ralph um, Santos is with me to kind of walk us through here at Insect Lore on how it's possible to grow your own butterflies. If you've seen anything like this in a classroom, they came from right here in Shafter, believe it or not. And as you look inside their bugzeum, you can see the painted lady butterflies on display. They they started out as small caterpillars, and now they're into these these beautiful beautiful. Um, are they insects? I don't know. We, winged insects, butterflies, or butterflies? I don't know. Ralph, kind of walk us through what you have right here. Well, this right here um, is um, the Insect Lore's. Um history of how it how was, how was, uh, came about the 1960s, 70s, the late 70s, the 80s, 90s, and 2009. The butterfly garden. The garden through the years. And, but it's really amazing, you guys. I get like children that come here daily, tours at least two or three tours a week, you know, sometimes it's four to five. Well, how is it possible? You can see the butterflies in the little, uh, the glass container right here, and in the back you can kind of see like a lab thing going on. How is it possible to, and again, it, it, start, it sounds easy, but how, how possible is it? How do they make it possible to, you know, so you start with your or your caterpillars inside this little container, and they eventually blossom into butterflies? How is it even possible? Well, we have what's called the the um, malva weed. It's mulched up with vitamins and minerals, and um, they're put in here once they come out of the egg stage, and when they're four days old, they're transferred into this cup. And as you can see, we have the filming of the caterpillar at when it's six to seven days old, and then about ten to twelve days old right here. And here's the eggs from the egg stage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and back behind this wall, we've got the um, the butterfly birthing room where they have about maybe 225,000 egg layers. They each lay about 300 eggs, you know, in a two-week process. That's a lot of eggs to keep up with the spring demand of the high high demand of the the springtime season with the schools. And of course, the butterflies are just the 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 iceberg, the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the uh, bugsium here at Insect Lore. We're going to touch more on a lot of the insects here, guys. A lot of them I'm t absolutely terrified of. <laughs> but before we leave, Ralph, uh, the Bugs in, they're open from 9 to 5 every day. You're open for tours. Classes come in all the time. Exactly. Oh. Yeah, we're open Monday through Friday right now, um, to, uh, Monday through um, Friday, and Saturdays 10 to 3. And, of course, if you want to learn more, you can go to insectlore.com. Guys, don't go anywhere. I'll be hanging out with the bugs all morning. Before, it's going to be lovely. <laughs> it's actually getting creepy, creepy crawlers. But before we get to the creepy crawlers, Insect lore here in Shafter. You may have heard of it. It all started in 1969. Carlos and Pat White finally, after a lot of trial and error, figured out a way to create butterfly gardens at home, in the classroom. You're able to start with little caterpillars and grow your own butterflies. Again, it started in 1969, and boy, have they come a long way. In the past four years, in the front of Insect Lore, they created the Bugzeum, which you can come visit. You can actually see how they, how they create their butterflies with a butterfly lab. And amongst the lab, they also have on display lots of native creepy crawlers, and of course it makes for good television. If you're if you're eating breakfast, folks, just just eat, keep eating, and just kind of you know listen. I'm, I'm, I'm creeped out really easily. This is a thing, Ralph. I remember last year that absolutely terrifies me. What is it? How do we avoid it? Because <laughs> I never want to come across these things in the wild. This is what's called the California common centipede. He lives like out in the deserts. Um, actually, you can also find them like in your backyard, underneath oh, an old tire, a piece of wood. They're they're meat eaters. They like to eat crickets and grasshoppers. Um, but uh, basically, you know, if you don't mess with them, leave them alone. But if you see them coming towards your home inside your house, you're gonna have to exterminate them. Now these <laughs> right here, actually, they look intimidating. They're harmless. Harmless. These guys are composters. They live like in um, inside a cactus. In your also in your little garden on your home, they love to eat tomatoes, carrots, lettuce, um, any kind of vegetable. What are they? They're the dark the darkling beetles. Let me get one out for you. Dark dark winged dark, beetles. Dark, darkling beetle. A darkling beetle. Darkling beetle. And I've got, see, he's like a big black. <laughs> you're not scared at all. Yeah. No, he's fine. Look, he's, he's total docile. Friendly. Now look. there, there's one in there that's not a, a darkling beetle, though. That's the California stink bug. He's right here. I don't want to. He looks like a miniature version. He's just a stink bug. Exactly. Let's see here. I'll put him up here. Whoop. 
There he goes. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> and these are the, these things can fall a mile, and nothing would happen to them because they have hard shells. Now, what do you have right here? This is the desert millipede. Desert okay. millipede correct. These guys are amazing. These guys are. They look like big earthworms, and they compost also. They love veg. They love lettuce, carrots, and they live inside of gardens, in the foothills, at the beach areas, and in, in the hills. They're just a wonderful insect. But you have to be careful with these. These guys right here, their bodies are toxic. So a lot of birds will go to get these guys and eat them within two or three hours. They fall dead to these guys because Jeez. their bodies are toxic. I'm learning a lot, Amity and Rob, and uh, Ralph pointed out earlier his favorite part about this job is giving the tours, interacting with the kids, seeing the kids' faces light up when they come here and check it out. They're open 9 to 5 Monday through Friday and 10 to 3 on each Saturday. Come check it out. If, you, if, you, if your kids are interested in science or, or, or nature at all whatsoever, this is a really cool place, and, and again, we're just t you know hitting the tip of the iceberg here at the, the Bugsium at Insect Lawrence Shafter. We're going to go behind the scenes, if you will, coming up in the next hour or so and show you their lab on how they actually created this in the first place. And, uh, and Josh, tell the viewers who might be just joining us right now, so this, this new segment that you're doing, you're going to be sort of traveling around Kern County finding new kind of hidden gems? I'm sure going to try. We're going to do it intermittently you know, in the next month or so. And uh, yeah, this is our very first stop in good old Shafter at the Bugsy Inn. And, right. and people can actually, if Anybody wants to suggest something to Josh? Yeah. Then go into our oh, Facebook absolutely. page. Oh, absolutely. Especially those that watch, they know that I love food. If there's any <laughs> restaurants in Kern <laughs> County I haven't been to yet, I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, let's Feel free to hit me up on Facebook. Hour burger joint in Taft, <laughs> and I really, it's phenomenal, so and I good? think you should go. I've eaten there. It's Ooh, amazing. Really? It's like a whole avocado in your burger. It's well, I like this because, like, for us, like, it's cool to see other spots, yeah. you know? So Josh is going to be traveling all around the county. Get on Facebook and let him know if you've got a store or something. He's, I mean, Region Josh. Yeah. Yeah, lots of really cool uh, scientific uh, native bugs and whatnot here at uh, Insect Lore, the Bugsium at Insect Lore. We kind of covered what's in the Bugsium that kids tour daily. Uh, you know, they, they invented the way back in 1969 to grow your own butterflies, whether in the classroom or at home. It was a really novel concept. They were able to finally do it after lots of trial and error. Now they have this museum in the front, just you know, showcasing uh, insects and whatnot to make it fun for kids. But we're going to give you a little behind the scenes tour. This is actually their peak season. They're incredibly busy this time of year. We're going to go to actually the back of where Insect Lore actually is. Go out of the, of the bug if you will. Come to the back of Insect Lore where they actually package everything. They do thousands upon thousands of shipments every day from our, just all over across the country to ensure that kids can learn more about how to grow their own butterflies and whatnot. Emily here is with me in the back. Emily, you guys have to be incredibly efficient. Sorry, I don't want to interrupt what you're doing right here. But you have to be efficient because I see... Ralph told me in the, in the front, you do like six to 10,000 orders yes, a day. <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing what you guys do. I only see maybe a couple dozen people back here, if that many. Um, can you give me a tour? Can you, show, can you kind of show us what's going on back here? Okay, over here is where we pack our um, 102s. Now, what are 102s? The 102, it's the um, live butterfly culture. This is what we pack. It's, um, I'm sure you've seen it in the star already. So the brown stuff is like the food the caterpillars eat on. Food, okay. and then we uh, we just put one inside the box, and the customer usually sends their coupon, and then we send them a box with a pack. So this is the way everybody over here. Is, what they're doing is processing in the computer, taking out the label, and then afterwards they get a little label and they stick it on the box. How many shifts a day do you guys have? How many people work here throughout the day? Um, what you see right now is what we have all day. Really? Well, surely you guys don't work, you know, 14-hour shifts, do you? No. There's, on Mondays, we sometimes work 11, 12 okay. hours a day, but not. Wow. It'll be probably like um, eight, nine hours. And then back here, I know, we're just going to tease this because we have to show it for our next segment. We're already almost out of time. But back here is the actual lab where they actually, you know, put the, they kind of grow the caterpillars and or the, the eggs, if you will, and they, they put them in the food in the jars to begin with? Yes. Okay. This is where they do the... The eggs, the food, the cups, and they bring everything out so we can pack them. All right, guys. I'm opening up the doors. We can't. We we're already out of time. But LJ, I'm gonna give you a little shot back there. This is where all the magic happens. Don't go anywhere. In the next segment, we're gonna take you behind the scenes, inside the lab, just a, just a quick glimpse to show you how they start the whole butterfly pro process. All starts here in Shafter, California, folks. <laughs> guys, back to you. Josh could end up there.
And right now we're taking you kind of behind the scenes where the Bugzeums out front here at Insect Lore and Chapter, they created once again in 1969, they are the first ones, uh, Pat and Carlos White, the first ones to actually be able to grow caterpillars inside a little uh, uh, non-organic environment, if you will, so you could grow your own butterflies in your home or your classroom. This is the back, this is the Insect Lore, where they actually do all the packaging. They do six to 10,000 orders a day back here. They ship them all across the world to classrooms, uh, to, to private homes. We're going to show you how they do it. Ralph Santos here is with me. We're going to come back here to the lab, if you will, the butterfly lab. Ralph, walk me through. What is happening? What is all this? I see just hundreds of jars. This is the prep room here before they go to pour the food inside to put the caterpillars in. And what we're going to walk into right now is where they're preparing, making these little, transferring these little caterpillars onto this cup of food that's prepared. Here we go, guys. Okay, okay. What you're doing here, here's the laboratory. Now what they do is they pour the food inside these little uh, 16, 8, 12 ounce cups and then they uh, flick the caterpillars gently into these cups once the food has is, 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 uh, cooled off. Who, who gets the caterpillars in the first place? Excuse me? Who, who gets the caterpillars in the first place? Or did, did you go out in the fields and grab them? Like how does that, how, how do they come about? They, they hatch from the egg stage onto these large containers. The girls over there are taking the caterpillars once they hatch, turns them into the jars. Okay, and then of course the food is a special secret a special mixture. You have like Colonel Sanders' secret. It's a special mixture of the, <laughs> of the plant with some vitamins and minerals. It's really neat. What, the girls back here, do they have to go to school to learn how to do this? Does it, take, does it take special training? Well, special training and years of, of, of experimentation with on hands training, and also um, just 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 like they get proper training through the years as they work here. Um, also, right now they're doing about maybe 10,000 cups per day. I was going to ask you that was my next question. The wow. springtime season right now, guys. And then if, if each jar contains how many caterpillars? Five caterpillars, three are guaranteed to hatch. Wow, no kidding. It's really awesome. And then, of course, these go out again all over the country, all over the world? All over the United States. Wow, okay. Now, of course, the Bugzeum, um, towards the front of the building, that's only been open for four years. That's been open for how long? For four years, the Bugzeum. It, it took place by, you know, it was first like a warehouse area, a come in room through like just the regular shipping. And then John, the son, he said, you know what, let's make this like a little more grandeur. You know, and then he came up with this idea with some, with some, an architect. And they came up with the Bugsy, what it is now, and it's really phenomenal. It's really exciting. And I'm doing like about two or three tours a day and about seven tours a week. Cool. So you can see us, uh, come visit us Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, and Saturdays 10 to 3. Close Sundays and holidays, you guys. And of course, guys, if you live really far away, earlier I meant to ask you uh, your times, not how long you've been uh, open as far as years ago. Uh, <laughs> I heard something in my ear. I was really confused. Uh, but guys, if you want to check them out, if you want to, is there a butterfly flying around there? I think there's a butterfly flying around there. Yeah. There's a loose butterfly in the lab. Uh, not even sure if you can see it anymore. But if you want to check them out, of course, you can go to insectlore.com, guys. Guys, uh, don't go anywhere. We've shown you behind the scenes how the butterflies uh, you come about in a lab. Um, but we're going to get a little creepy coming up, all right? We're going to we're, we're gonna showcase some more of those insects in the actual Bugzeum coming up. All right, Josh, sounds good. We look forward to that. That's, That's right. The Insect Lore here in Shafter, Insect Lore, back in 1969, the very first company to be able to produce butterflies with little jars, the caterpillars. They would uh, grow in classrooms all over the country and homes. Now they have the bug zeme attached to Insect Lore for kids to come about and, and tour and learn more about insects and other creepy crawlers. And, of course, those creepy crawlers, the ones I'm terrified the most of, cockroaches. Ralph Santos with me once again, and Ralph, you just handle these things like like they're no big deal. You have, uh, you have like two of them in your hand already. Uh, show us what you got. Well, these are the Madagascar hissing cockroach here. Mm. The one that has the horns is the boy. The one without the uh, with the smooth head is the female, and she's a little bit larger because she has to carry the the, the eggs. Oh and goodness. obviously, they're both they're nocturnal, so they're both and, sleepy. And they're totally harmless. Yeah, they're totally harmless. They're, they're, How big do they get? Well, in the wild, they get as big as my hand. Oh, my God. Right now, they're, they're like, kind of like goldfish. They're only as big as the cages, so they, they have room in there. But they're, can you imagine being that big? And in Madagascar and a lot of countries in Africa or in other parts of the world, it's actually a staple food. How, how, many, how many grams of protein are in a, a typical hawk, cockroach? Well, the typical one is about 89 <laughs> grams of protein, about 4 <laughs> grams of fat. Very healthy for you. Almost like our comparison to like our lobster. Oh, my goodness you know? gracious. <laughs> so if someone asks me if I want Madagascar lobster for dinner, I think I'll say I'll pass. Yeah, Be sure to pass. Sure you get the red gravy sauce. And it looks, like, it looks like they're eating uh, dog food. What is that? What are they eating? It's, they, they have a, a combination of like lettuce and carrots. And also for protein, um, we give them dog food and oatmeal. Wow. It's, it's, for their, it's part of their diet. 
as as we have the the you know our little friends right here, just talk about the the Bugsium in general. Well, well, what do you what do you like about the Bugsium the most? What I like about the Bugsium is the um, the interaction with the children from schools that they come and do. They do two about one to two tours a day, a day and about uh, five days a week. And just the the gratification I get is like show them these. They can't go to these countries where these bugs are from, so we bring them here. As do you have any favorite insects you like to show off? Um, this one right here. No, those, those, are, those are your favorite, really? Why is that? Because they they're they're docile, they're complex. They they also if they get threatened, they they hiss. And they actually, they're actually not hissing. It's actually a noise that, that comes out. sounds like a hiss, but they're actually just releasing air, right? It's air from their, their stomachs. It's called spiracles. They have three wow. holes in the sides of their, of their bodies, and they take a deep breath, and they blow out like <laughs> All right, guys, the, the Bugsium is open from 9 to 5 every weekday, 10 to 3 on Saturdays. All right, I'm going to conquer a fear. I did this last year. She's a calm one. Here we go, buddy. I don't like it. No, I can't mouth. look. Nope, no, please don't. Okay. Okay. I think I'm done. Okay. Yep. I'm done. I'm done. Oh. <laughs> Where's the Purell? Where's the Purell? Okay. Okay. Hold on. Time out, guys. Time out. Oh. The girls at the pink doing the pink ladybugs are cracking up over here. They're like, "What are you doing?" All right. See that? That's 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 tons of Purell all over my hand. My heart rate needs to, needs to slow down a little bit. All right, guys, uh, if, you, if you have kids that like science and want to learn about insects, here's the place. And, you know, and, and I, I went leaps and bounds over here. You don't actually have to hold the cockroaches, obviously, like I did. But you can learn a whole lot about them. Bugsium, Shafter, check it out. Insectlore.com. Guys, back to you. All right, Josh, thanks so much. We do want to apologize <laughs> to anyone who is maybe enjoying <laughs> breakfast right now at exactly. home. And, uh, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just keep eating your Cheerios. Don't mind me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Josh.